We're in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City, the university area, FAU and Charlotte, both in their first season in the American Conference. Charlotte coming off its first win in this new conference. FAU looking to bounce back and stay in the race for an AAC championship. He is not afraid whatsoever. Malcolm Lamar in at left tackle on the delay. McCammon again changing directions and tripped up just shy of the 30, a pickup of 10. Kobe Lewis, the running back. I'll leave it, a talented player in the secondary. Floated to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Zeke Moore. Second touchdown catch of the year for Moore, who I know you love yes. as a tight end in this offense. Watching him on film. I love his work. Love how dirty he gets at the line of scrimmage. Excellent blocker. Like we said in, in the uh, uh, production meeting, we need some three and outs, too. We need, we need to get off the field a little bit better on defense. What'd you like about Daniel Richardson in that first drive? Poised, calm, he's seeing the field really well. Thank you, coach. Thank you. On third and six, Richardson wants six, wants Wester, touchdown, FAU. Not sure why Hill Green pulled up and, a, and just left Wester. He's pulling up to leave him and turn him over to a safety, except the safety's not there. They're gonna get the push. Nice. So the big ball nice. Springs Jones, and he gets into the second level, all the way inside the 30. Take note, Philadelphia. Unbelievable. Nice play call with the with emotions by Mike Miller. Kind of getting Florida Atlantic to relax. 44-yarder here for Kudani. And the kick is up and good. An NFL-type talent with the relentless motor. Richardson downfield for Wester, makes the catch and pulled out of bounds by Ali Ali. Boy, the route by Wester. Now yeah, it's things, it's a thing of legend. The NCAA earlier this month, big time talent. Richardson to the air. His receiver slipped. Now launches for Wester, who adjusts. He holds on. Was he in bounds? No, he did not catch it in bounds. It's close, Anish. What a heck of an adjustment by Daniel Richardson to get off his primary receiver. That's a touchdown. Ooh, he got the one the left foot, foot in. is in clearly. The left foot is in. The question is, does he survive the round? Pass. The previous does he have for possession the right there when the left foot that is in? After reviewing the play, the receiver caught the pass for a touchdown. This 49er team on tilt. You're down 21 to six. FAU gets the ball to start the third quarter. We've lacked focus. We're undisciplined. The penalties, he's so discouraged. Richardson over the middle. Wester over 100 yards receiving. And Andre, that's a Biff Pogey's message. When you're trying to put a team away, Wester's doing exactly that. Over 100 yards receiving for the ninth time in his career. He gets it again. And in two plays, after the great starting field position, FAU is in the red zone. And here they are inside the red zone. And they bring in Michael Johnson, the big 6'3", 230-pounder. He'll run, gets a block, he gets free. Johnson coasting into the end zone. Flag at the end of the play. Offside. No. Nope. Gonna stand. Lined up to make it. That penalty is defined. Result of the play is a touchdown. Des Morgan lining up offsides. It didn't really matter when Michael Johnson, the big 6-3 quarterback, comes in the game and finds his way into the end zone. Charlotte last in the country on third downs entering play. Ivy on the slant, juggled, caught by Dwayne Thomas, who brings it to the 10-yard line, first and goal. Kind of been waiting on him. I don't know that I would shrink down here and get big. They're, most of the success has come from spreading them out. They fake the toss. The throw. It's caught. Down inside the five. Touchdown, Jake Clemens. Excellent job by Ivy. 
And then just to get the ball to Clemens, who does what he, what you want to see him do, first touchdown of the season by Jay Clemens. Had to wait on this one a little while, but understood and still finished the playoff in the end zone. Catch is called just outside the end zone, again creating a short field for Charlotte. And off the short field this time with a punt, giving Charlotte the ball in midfield, a 15-yard run. Cunanan on for a 44-yarder. I met his uncle on my flight yesterday. Kyle Cunanan. I did. This one is up. It's good. His third field goal of the game. It's 28 to 16. So there's really no excuse. But you know, when you don't think you're going in, you haven't played the entire second half, that's tough. Big kick by Ganya. Here's Wester. Took a punt back for oh, a score wow. against USF. You see the shake. And he turbos across the 45-yard line. That is Tank Dale like right there. I think it was the punter. Wow. It was Ganya who made the tackle. Wester 172 all-purpose yards. And he's given FAU great field position after a 30-yard punt return. Go right to and him. And they go right to him on first down. He has now set a career high in receiving yards. He has his fifth 10-catch game of the season. I've already written a note <laughs> to pass to the Texans about, <laughs> about Wester. Oh, that one off the hands of Wester. Nice. And it's picked off by Charlotte. Hanging the around. Niners come up with the INT. Are the 49ers. C.J. Burton, the Boston College transfer, his first career interception. First career interception. Transferred in from Boston College. And the 49ers have life. And another quarterback for Charlotte. It is Micah Bowens, a redshirt sophomore, coming into the game. Bowens on fourth down and long, under pressure, and dropped for a loss. It's a sack. It's a turnover on downs. That's Morvin Joseph. And FAU takes over deep in Charlotte territory. With all Pac-12 officials at that time, there was a flag on the ground. 200-something yard penalty. McCammon cruises into the end zone. Easily. And FAU adds six more. FAU wins it. Final score, Owls 38, Charlotte 49ers 16. Tom Herman's team gets to 4-4 four four on the season, 3-1 and one in the American Conference, and now two wins away from bowl eligibility.